Hi there, Mark Bowden here. Let's have a look at what can PopArt tell us about how to set up the home studio setting. Whether you're presenting, whether you're speaking, PopArt can tell your audience a lot about you and your subject. Now, what is PopArt about? Well, I would say it's the collision of icons that have a strong meaning with us already but their collision, their collage, their decoupage creates a sense of interest, intrigue, and some subtle depth to the ideas around you and what you're speaking about. We all have the possibility around us to make some really good, unique, individual pop art for ourselves. If we just take our bookcases, for example, which usually are the storage place for the mementos of ideas that have passed by us. They're, they're almost where ideas go to die and never be seen again. All we need to do, as I've done here, is just merchandise some of them, just turn them, cover round, so that the audience start to get a sense of the collage of ideas that might be around what you're talking about. Pop art is full of comforting ideas, whether it's a can of soup or a pot of Marmite, whether it's a, a comforting truism that we all have, whether that might be home or love or start with why. In fact, pop art is really the closest art form I think we have to current speaking. Because often what we're doing is pulling a lot of different divergent ideas together into one single gettable popular thing that everybody can get. Here's the thing with pop art. Everybody has to be able to do it. If you can't do it, it's not pop art. It's probably progressive something or other, <laughs> okay? So uh, you've gotta be able to take the icons that everybody would have around them, mash them all together into something which is intriguing, which pulls people in and has some layers of depth to it whether it's uh, books, whether it's single letters or words or numbers that could have some meaning. Badges, uh, buttons are a classic of this. A cap with, uh, with, a, with a word on it. Uh, clothing that has some kind of significance. You can, in pop art, you can take from everywhere and, and pull it all together. Uh, items that you bought on holiday that have some kind of meaning to you. All of this comes together in a psychogeography, essentially a map of your mind put forward onto the canvas. So I challenge you, get to your bookshelves, which are usually a representation of, hey, look at me, I've read quite a lot, and turn some of those things around, get close to them so the camera can focus not on, only on you, but on some of the titles and start to montage together an idea of what you might be talking about and what you might be thinking in your head. 